What is going on? This is Altone, and today we have the Finerci internal resistance tester. They sent this guy out to me for me to try out. I think it's fantastic. I've actually already taken it out of the box and tried it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it comes with and then we're gonna test out a couple of these batteries just to see what the internal resistance of them is. So you can see how I would actually use this device for those people who might happen to be also trying to do speed runs like I have been doing lately you will want to check out your battery battery internal resistance so that you can see if it's actually able to perform and to give you an indication if it's actually able to perform up to the standards so what you get in the box of course is the Finerci hrm10 internal resistance tester and then it comes with your cables now your cable has this nice little connector on the end because each one of these contacts is actually a single wire running because of the way that it actually tests your internal resistance on your battery it makes it more accurate and then of course it comes with a charging cable which is a usb a to usb c charging cable so all you'll do is you'll take your cable there's a notch in the cable itself you'll put that cable on and slide it in place and just tighten it down and it's basically ready to go at that point we're gonna go ahead and turn it on the first time you turn this guy on it's gonna ask you for what language that you want to use I just chose English and we're good to go there it also shows you your battery for the device so it actually came fully charged I didn't actually have to charge it out of the box um, yours may or may not come fully charged you have a nice little place here to hang it on the wall if you decide you want to um, a nice little QR code here for you to get some additional information it does have a stand in the back so you can stand it up which i think is fantastic as well and two nice little feet here on the bottom and then your usb c connector is here on the side for you to charge it and there's a little led light on the side that will give you an indication that is charging and when the charge is complete so we have this guy turned on you see right now it's not showing anything as far as um in uh, resistance if you do short these two together which you can, it doesn't hurt anything for you to do so. It will give you zero reading because there is no resistance, essentially. While it's not connected, um, it's not reading anything. That's why you have the OL. So we have so many 2S, 3S, uh, well, 2S, uh, a couple of 3S batteries here. I have one 4S battery here. We can check a couple of them out and see what kind of reading we get. In order to be able to test them, it's, it can be a little difficult to try to get these contacts and you want to separate these two leads on the end. You wanna separate them when you're actually doing your test. So you get a more accurate test. But it can be kind of difficult when you have something like this, which is an XT60 connector. It'd be a little bit difficult to, to be able to separate that and hold it in place. So what I do, because I make many of my own cables, for some of my RC planes and cars and all that kind of stuff. I have a couple of connectors here. I have the Dean's connector and an XT60. You can plug it in like this. And what you want to be careful of is not to short these two together. If you short them together, it will be a spark, first of all. And the second thing is you could also damage your battery. So make sure that you do not short these together. But this will give you something to attach your leads to. And then, you can just attach your lead. So this is the negative side. So we're gonna attach our negative. We're also going to attach our positive. And then when you attach this here, and now we have an internal resistance reading of 8.84 milliohms, which is, I, I, I'm, I believe it's okay. So one of the things, or one of the tips that I would give you when it comes to checking your internal resistance on your batteries is, once you receive brand new batteries, now this bad, this particular battery, let's go ahead and disconnect this. This particular battery of mine, I've had for quite some time. And I've used it a lot in some of my RC planes. So that internal resistance probably has increased over time, which will happen with your batteries. So my suggestion would be to, when you first receive a battery, no matter what brand battery it is, you first re receive your battery, go ahead and do an a, a internal resistance 
test on that battery. Now I haven't charged any of these batteries up. They're currently at a storage charge. So you should have also seen a voltage. Let's go back to that really quickly. Yeah, this is a 4S LiPo. So we have 15.25 volts divided by four. That should give us the voltage per cell at that 15.25, which should be the storage voltage. So all of these batteries are actually currently on a, at a storage voltage. So I wanted to let you know that and that is the way that I'm actually testing them. As you complete this, and I notice I just put this to the side without taking this off. As you complete your test, you wanna make sure you take, take your connector off because that leaves this exposed and you have the possibility of shorting your connection. You don't wanna do that. So we have another battery here. This one's a 2S battery and we're gonna test that one. The good thing about this one is the contacts actually lift out. So we don't have to do anything special with this one. It does have a Dean's connector. So if we wanted to, we could use this Dean's plug in order to be able to test it. But we can just pull out the connectors just a little bit and leave, leave that room for contact there and then just attach it. So let's go ahead and do that. Attach, attach our positive side and then attach our negative. And so what we have is a really good internal resistance rating of 3.7 milliohms. And you can see our voltage on this battery is 7.64, which should put us in about that 3.6, 7 to 8, 3.8. Uh, range because this battery is currently in a storage voltage but that is a really good reading especially for the fact that i've been using this particular 2s battery during a speed run challenge and i have well abused this battery and it's still getting a 3.6 milliohm reading which is, is is actually very very good being able to check the internal resistance should give you an idea as well as there's a few different calculations that you can use in order to verify the C rating on these batteries. But what that'll let you know is, has the battery started to deteriorate or wear out over time? And especially, again, if you're trying to get the best performance, you're flying aircraft, you wanna know that you're gonna get the most power um, out of the battery to your motor and ESC in order to be able to get speeds that you're looking for and the performance out of the aircraft, especially if you're doing like 3D flying, this guy is gonna allow you to know which one of your batteries is actually gonna perform the best for you. You can use them in your more performance style aircraft or vehicles and then use the ones that are that are that that have deteriorated in some of the vehicles that you just wanna run around for, for fun. And HRM10 actually has an internal memory that is fantastic. You can actually use it to be able to get additional information or store that information so that you can pull that information back up in the future and be able to uh, check check it out to see what type of information that you're getting so thank you so much for coming by and checking this guy out with me i really appreciate appreciate it i think this is a fantastic tool and again i'm going to be using it myself very very frequently Vinersky makes fantastic uh, electronics testing products and i look forward to trying more of their products in the future Thanks again for coming by and hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.